Wolf. There goes our guy. Is it's that our guy? Yeah. No, no, yeah, it's not much. ours. So they're here somewhere. Good afternoon, our dear friends. Today is a beautiful day, the best day of my life. We are going to the positions today. Make yourself at home. Walking through the forest. It's okay. 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 How do you like it here? It's okay. It's okay here. It's really warm in here. There are still a lot of climbs. You have to stop eating sweets. How many enemies are there? In a straight line, it's not far. 350 to 400 meters. Right here. It's okay. These are their forward observation posts. They occupy them mostly at night. There's a big crowd here. We often shoot there with mortars. Because they have dugouts and trenches there. So, are we going to go? Yes, we can move out. Did you get some rest? Yeah, we're not too tired. There's mud ahead, so I'm asking. Be more careful there. There are steep descents. How's it going? Fine. And here we are, seeing each other. What are the enemies doing? Are they attacking? Now they are not attacking at all. They are shelling a little bit. They're trying to find out something. Are they shooting with automatic grenade launchers? Yes. And with an easel grenade launcher? With automatic grenade launchers. Anti-tank missiles. And now the enemy airborne troops are there? Yes. Let's go a little bit. We'll show you. Dying is a Russian military tradition. From here it's about 80 meters to the enemy. The guys say there are a lot of them. They hear a lot of shots. They don't understand what's going on because they can't see. I say, launch the drone. You have to watch, because it's not clear what's going on there. A couple of enemies are said to be lying in the trenches there. Here, of course, a lot of them were destroyed. I thought it was an exaggeration. <laughs> When Arestovich said that they're dying in large numbers here, and they are really dying in mass. When it was still cold, a shell hit him, broke something and he was showing me the middle finger. And then when the weather got a little warmer, his hand went down, and that's it, he doesn't show me fingers anymore. The drone is coming, the grenade will drop, and there will be three wounded. Four, four. I forgot about you, sorry. The camera, right? I forgot, sorry. And this one repackages everything. <laughs> so when you arrive, you can't repack there? I don't remember where my such small pouches for grenades. Throw that grenade away. Why did you take it? This is a very dangerous thing. This is an RG. It's an offensive grenade. Mm-hmm. Dangerous, you say? Dangerous. Can it explode on its own? This plastic is drying out, somehow cracked. There are some micro cracks. As soon as you take it off, it explodes in your hands. It immediately explodes in your hands. Or in the results. Americans, give me some new grenades. Are you external management or what? Did Medvedchuk lie to us? That's a good grenade. It's okay. This is American. Look how quickly they responded. Were there any hits here? An automatic grenade launcher is firing here. That's the impression I get, that all they have left are automatic and other grenade launchers. The shells were being delivered. And then they shot again.
I've never heard that before. Some kind of mine with a motor. Enemy jacket. Is there a call sign? No. Nothing is written. What are the enemy's tactics? Were those mercenaries there? They were wearing black uniforms, without distinguishing marks. Just a black uniform. Enemy tactics, the assault began at night. A drone with a thermal imager arrived, hovering over our positions, and the assault began. The avant-garde groups of seven people. We stopped them with this browning machine gun. In general, everyone was stopped with a machine gun. When it starts shooting, they would immediately quiet down. Then they get out. A collimator sight for it would have been nice. A collimator sight from Trijicon that the Americans use. A more advanced version costs $5,000. And a simpler one, about $4,000. The Americans should give us a collimator sight. Americans, are you in external control or not? Give us some collimator sights, please. Be normal external management. How much does it weigh? 38 kilograms of the machine gun itself and 20 kilograms of the tripod. Roughly speaking, it weighs a total of 60 kilograms. Well, in general, it's a cool machine. I like it. Rockets were fired here. See the remains of the rockets sticking out of the ground? I saw it when we first came. I went to the positions. I've got the guys lined up. Whose missile is that? Enemies. I see that missile. I wonder if that's the chimney. Is that an enemy dugout right in front of us? Everyone was surprised. Me too, as soon as I got here. I was very surprised by that chimney. Isn't that a rocket that didn't explode? No, it's the remains of a cluster missile. We'll have to collect it, clear it of mines. The dog patron will have a lot of work. Bayraktar is bombing everything. Patron the dog is clearing everything of mines. Russian mobilized soldiers with rusty assault rifles are storming us. That's an automatic grenade launcher, right? Yeah, they're out at night, we are being terrorized. Where are they shooting from? There's the hill. It's right there. We have a wounded man. Are you hurt? It's a good thing they were lightly wounded. Lightly wounded. Is everyone else okay? Check it out, please. Okay, pay attention, watch. Send an evacuation vehicle. It's on its way. Let's go over there, okay? 